as long as there is imagination left in the world, Disneyland will never be complete. The Dream Squad is a Disney Parks first. As part of the Disney Dreams giveaway, these special Disney cast members go out into the park every day and present dream prizes to randomly selected guests. This is, after all, a year of a million dreams. It's the best feeling in the entire world. I've never had such an awesome job here at the Disneyland Resort ever before. The prizes are anything from collectible mouse ears to dream fast passes to a Disney cruise to the biggest dream of them all, a trip to all five Disney parks around the world. Can you say thank you, Walt Disney? Black and Space Mountain is the newest version of the Space Mountain Classic, which has been here at Disneyland for many, many years, and we've taken a whole new soundtrack and given it a whole new twist. It's really like riding through a rock concert in space. California Screamin' at Disney's California Adventure will also rock out to a new soundtrack. Recording engineer Ryan Hewitt is the mastermind making the new music match every twist and turn. I'm very proud to, to have a part in this in any way, and when they called and described what the project was and when I went down to Disneyland and rode the rides and and uh, you know, talk to the guys over there. It was, I, I walked away even more excited than I was when I went there. <laughs> you know, Walt Disney once said, Disneyland will never be finished as long as there's imagination left in the world. And we at Walt Disney Imagineering and everybody else at the Walt Disney Company keeps pushing Disneyland to the next level. It's one more example of how Disneyland is always keeping Walt's vision alive. Pirates of the Caribbean is another popular attraction with some new Disney magic. Recently, Imagineers enhanced this guest favorite with characters from the Pirates of the Caribbean movie franchise. They also enriched the sound and lighting and hauled in more than 400,000 pieces of gold and jewels. Imagineer Marty Sklar worked with Walt Disney when the park opened back in 1955. The beautiful thing for people who create for these parks is that we try never to look back. And that was the way Walt Disney was. He didn't like to repeat himself. And so we're constantly going on to new things. And there's a lot of new things on the horizon. Tom Sawyer's Island will soon be taken over by pirates. And of course, the subs are coming back. Yeah! Those famous subs everyone loved are under construction at this very moment. This blast from the past will now be called Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. When it opens, guests will be able to travel to the undersea world of Finding Nemo in a way that's never been possible before. It will combine computer-generated graphics with a real-life aquatic setting to create an unbelievable new experience. We have a lot of people here who this is the only submarine they've ever ridden in their life. And there's a nostalgia for it that we're really trying to be protective of. The subs will resurface this June. This isn't the same park that Walt Disney opened back in 1955, but those who knew him say that's okay. If Walt were alive today, he would definitely say, what took you so long? Walt would have been way ahead of us, for sure. He was always ahead of us.